Redskins. Hey, everybody, welcome to Monday Melee! Yeah. Hey, you guys can clap back there. Come on. Oh, she's too busy taking pictures. <laughs> welcome, everyone, to Monday Melee. We're very excited this week. Uh, we have former MMA fighter and current entertainer, Whoa. Brendan Schaub, with us from uh, The Fighter and the Kid. Uh, podcast. You've seen him everywhere. He's. Uh, you've got live shows coming up. Live, yeah, tours. We're uh, in Texas, New Orleans, East Coast, New York, all over. Everywhere and all over the goddamn internet. Welcome, everyone. Today we're going to play one of my favorite games of all time, Gears of War. It's a Mine classic. Mine too, man. It's a classic. I grew up on this it's game. It's a classic. We I, grew up on I it. I warn you, my daycare was Nintendo 64. <laughs> Money Are was we... tight, so my dad put in the Nintendo 64, and that's what we did. Me do we brother. do hardcore? Do we dare? Uh, you know what? I'll let you pick. We're gonna, let's do cash. Let's do casual for right now. Hey, everyone, what's going on? 8-Bit Christopolis, Kanye Twitty. Good to see you. Um, what's Poppy. up, y'all? Bad twerk. What's going on, everybody? Oh, we got in the middle of Brendan Schaub. I just introduced him. Oh, let's start it. We're starting a new campaign. Um... So, Brendan, we we're just talking a little bit before uh, we got started. How did you transition? How did you get from the octagon yeah. to podcasting? Because uh, it doesn't seem like it, it doesn't make sense. It does doesn't it? make any sense. It's like a zebra hanging out with lions. It's I, like a uh, <laughs> it really is. You'd be the lion. It's like a lion hanging well, out with not zebras. Really? I think calling a bunch of podcasters lions is very. It depends very who the podcasters generous. are. Touche. Yeah. Touche. And uh, you do the podcast with uh, Brian Callen. Brian Callen. Brian you guys know him from The Hangover, That's Sex right. in the City, all those movies. That's right. Uh, Ride Along. But he, he's his number one passion's uh, being a comic. That's awesome. So, um, man, I, I fell into this. I was doing. Uh, I was fighting, doing the podcast with Brian and he just took uh, kind of took off and then literally before my last fight uh, things that fighting kid were going so well I'm walking out the doctor I'm like you know what? This is the last one. I think this is the last one. <laughs> yeah, I'm sinking and punched in the face. Yeah. And they're forcing me to wear Reebok pumps. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. You to wear Reebok pumps. Yeah, I was like, you know what? I don't like Reeboks. I would ra yeah, I'd rather get punched in the face. All right, so I think you are... Let's see I here. I am on the top. Okay, I'm bottom here. You're bottom, yeah, I'm on the top. All right, so I, I don't actually remember the, how to play this game at all, so we're going to figure it out together. But let's see here. So I, there we go. Oh, there we go, yep. I get the trigger, we're good. Yeah, so really it just uh, kind of took off, and then uh, I, I love doing it. I enjoy doing it. And um, Yeah, exactly. We're, we're at Fox, and then... Uh, Ben's Milky Suit, Brian, the 60-year-old kid. He's 50. That's He's him. 50. He's fi how 50. How dare you, <laughs> How sir? dare you? How dare you? <laughs> exactly. We're just going to go straight into combat. Yeah, training. What? Training. Come on. Training for, for amateurs. Us. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, Big Brown's on the bottom. Yeah. What's your other? Well, you also the hybrid. Is that you also? Hybrid's the hybrid? old school, so I get the nickname the hybrid from the Ultimate Fighter. Is that because you used series. to drive a Prius all the time? You know, what? I did drive a Prius. Super depressing. Uh, <laughs> got rid of that thing finally. Oh my god! <laughs> Didn't you have to like press a button to start it or something? No, I th what? A Prius. Oh, is that oh, you true? Do. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. press a button. It's, That's you know, I got rid of that thing. Definitely set my game up. That th I'd get in and just kick it. I just get in and kick it. That's like why I think maybe you don't see it in horror movies because horror movies you're like trying to start the car and yeah, it's just like beep. Yeah, beep, there's, beep, there's beep, no beep. sound. Yeah, this is not that dramatic. Yeah, they're so dangerous too. They're, they're so it's like a cardboard box that's electric. <laughs> it's like a it's and like what, an electric. What cardboard screwed box. everything up is Leonardo DiCaprio <laughs> drives one, so everyone's like, oh, they're cool, and they got them. Leo from uh, 3H shops the man. There oh, we go, baby. Big Brown. That's right. What up, guys? Kick the Prius to start it. Yeah, yeah exactly. always kick it. Always kick it. Oh wait, what are we? What am I supposed? What are we supposed to do? Hey, here? someone Nobody jump knows. out so I can kill him. Some of the yeah, exactly. I just want to. I want waves of enemies to just destroy. All right, this is all garbage. You know what, man? I uh, I'm so thankful that we're playing Gears of War because I love this game and I also grew up on this game. Open but the GM door. Uh, I thought you were gonna force me to play the UFC fighting game. Oh no! Oh no! No, I would never. You know do the that. meathead stuff, Madden. Yeah. UFC fighting game. Oh. <laughs> we were saying you like Tecmo Bowl. Tecmo Bowl. Tecmo Bowl. NBA Jam. Oh, NBA Jam's the you bomb. Know, I feel bad for kids because when I was a kid, going to the uh, the arcade was like Disneyland, man. With oh, the tokens, yeah. Hell yeah, playing dude. Tekken, all that stuff. Oh! See, I just oh, this guy's having a bad day. Oh, this is their fridge. All right. I love how they're just trying to set the scene for us. It's like, dude, we just want to kill things. Dude, I'm 12. I don't care about the story. You know, one of my favorite things about Gears of War is all the guns have chainsaws on them also. Like, that is pretty... Oh, here we go. Man. Here we go. Today's games are so real. I know. Oh, I'm dead. I'm already dead. I'm already dead. 
I literally said sup bitches Dude, I, I and then I died. I, I think I can recover you. And then I died. Do they still have arcades? Yes, Lulafon. They Boom, still have arcades. Boom, there you arcades. go. Yeah! Boom, son. There you go. Thanks, my boy. Alright. I got this, dude. There's all this red jelly coming off him. Okay, Oh, now, wait a second. I gotta I'm help dead. you out. I gotta help you uh, out. You might want to kill him before. Alright. Fight through the pain. That's all it took, by the way. You were just, like, thinking about it. Alright, how do we jump over this? God oh, hey, that's right. I think it's... Oh, that's the green button. So you hit it once to go behind it and then another. Yeah, the games today are a little too real for me. Yeah, I know. That's the thing. A is too real. I'm trying to relax, have fun, man. I'm not trying to... Well, we were... You know what? We were going to actually play this game, Tom Clancy's The Division. Dude. Okay, Tom so... Tom Clancy game stress me out. I know, but then... A little then too it, real for me. It's a little too real. And then it's like, look. It's like uh, we had to sign up for like 15 different accounts. And then yeah, man. you have to be online. It takes team, 50 hours. You have the Bluetooth in. Exactly. It's like... It's, I'm trying man. to have some fun. I know. I just want to start a game and play it. Um, so tell me about the fire and the kid. Yeah. So you guys have been doing, uh... Been doing it for about four years. We've been with Fox for two now. That's awesome. Uh, but we were doing it out of Brian's garage, and, uh, we are in wife beaters and just having fun, man. And then what if, what's, Fox came calling. What's one of the things that, like, early on, because, you know, you not coming from a podcast background, like, what what's one of the things you learned early on about doing a podcast? That I could be myself. Because, oh, cool. Yeah, because when you do the, the UFC interviews and the fight interviews, yeah. it's all like, oh, I'm going to beat this guy up, training so tough. It's right. the same thing. No one really learns who the real guy is. Does that yeah, make sense? It's in, it does, because it is still kind of like entertainment. It's entertainment, like, And you yeah. are kind of playing a character. Yeah, you're really, kind like, of you're very similar to WWE, because you can't, joke around and anyone right. who knows me like my family and friends i'm a silly guy right. i'm goofy <laughs> right. all the time so when you ask me to, when you ask, tell me i had to be serious it doesn't go over well right i'm really not that tough right I'm really not um so with podcast was like whoa i can i can be funny and being uh brian Callen's partner he's a comic so dude it gives me a free pass to be as silly as i want that's awesome so uh i started doing it and then people uh started to kind of like the comedy side so I fell in love with it, man. It's the attention and love I've always been looking for in sports. That's awesome. And you were saying that, uh, so you've done a little stand-up in these live shows. Yeah, a bunch of stand-up. Really. <laughs> you had to tell us about the Seattle going out. And yeah, Seattle, 900 people sold out show. It's crazy because all our shows get sold out. And, That's awesome. Uh, Brian's like, man, what, what I think we should do is uh, we'll do a live show, and I want you to start with you going out first doing stand-up. I'm like, oh, no, that, that's brilliant, but uh, I've never done stand-up. He's like, don't worry about it. You're a good storyteller. Oh, there yeah, we go. Yeah, you're a good storyteller, so I want you telling a story. So I go, all right. So I just went out there telling the stories, and uh, my first stand-up gig was sold out theater in uh, Seattle. Dude, how many people? 900. 900 people. That's horrifying. And then now I'm just addicted to it. It's all I want to do. I know. It is It is a great... I will say, like, like performing is a really fun feeling when it goes well. Yes. Yeah. And same as fighting. Same as fighting. Fighting is so <laughs> right. much fun when you're winning. <laughs> right. It's like, dude, this is so easy. And I then should you get do knocked this all out, the time. You're like, whoa, yeah. <laughs> this is real life. It's not that easy. No. I know, like stand up. There, it's. I love stand up because, and, I, I, and a lot like fighting because it's pure. Like, yes. it's you and a mic, and just, you, I'm gonna make you laugh. It's the same as it's the same as fighting. Either you're winning or you're not. Right. And in stand up, either you're making people laugh or you're not. Yeah. Exactly. You'll know real quick if you're funny or not. Yeah, and you can't fake it. No. I mean, a lot like fighting. All. It's just like either you gotta you gotta just go for it. You, yeah. got, you gotta put your work in, I, dude. I, I've Absolutely. been so fortunate because Joe Rogan, Chris D'Elia, Brian Callen, those yeah. are my. That's kind of, those are my mentors, man. So they help me out a lot. Yeah, those guys are on the top of their game for sure. Yes. It's so interesting to me. Like, the Joe Rogan thing is fascinating because, you know, he was a stand up forever and then got in to, like, this UFC MMA thing very early on. Very, And very now early. he's, like, one of, like, he is, like, one of the main He's the dudes. voice. He's oh, the he, voice. He's, he's the guy. And the thing about Joe is, you know, they try, they have all these shows now, right? They have tons of shows yes. all over the world and they have other commentators. But Joe brings personality to it, and he's an expert. Right. So it's very hard to find. And Joe's mm -hmm. thing is, you know, he grew up doing taekwondo. He was a uh, national champion taekwondo guy. Yeah, which is he's, crazy because I only knew him as a stand-up. Yes, yeah. black belt in jiu-jitsu. Jesus. And then his podcast, I mean, you're talking about a guy who gets 25 million downloads a month. Like, That's insane. Top podcast in the world. That's crazy. 
his work ethic, man. You want to talk about someone who's inspiring? Really? I've, I've never seen anything like it. I, I literally have to ask him, like, how do you do it? Please That's crazy. tell me how you do it. That's insane. Yes. I love it. It's insane, man. And and by the way, to get tickets for uh, for any of the Fighter of the Kids live shows, go to tfatk.com. Uh, coming up, I think, uh, yeah, you guys... In March, April, and May, you got so coming up this this month. That's coming month. up, yeah, in April we start with the Texas tour, then we end. Uh, so we're in Houston, Dallas, New Orleans, uh, Oklahoma. Oh my God! And then we end in uh, Midwest with Chicago, uh, Minneapolis, and uh, Wisconsin. Oh my God! All, all I'm hearing from you are great places to eat food. So, <laughs> exactly. So many. I was just in Texas. Oh my God! Barbecue, dude. Good, your diet when you in these towns. Good luck. <laughs> New Orleans, I'm talking to you. Dude, I get New super fat I'm on the road. I'm looking at you, New Orleans. I'm good in L.A. I have an eating complex in L.A. because everyone eats freaking yeah. juice and lettuce. Exactly. When I go on the road, man, it goes out the window. Here, this is actually a good question. Like, do you, now that you're, you don't fight anymore and you don't do, like, you're not a professional athlete yeah. anymore, uh, how how hard is it to stay in shape? Or are you just kind of addicted to that life? No, I think I'm addicted to yeah. kind of working out. If I don't work out, I freak out. So I still work out six or seven days a week. Yeah. Uh, before I came here, I was doing a pretty gnarly workout. Awesome. Um, but also, th there's nothing worse when you when you see a guy who's been competing at a high level and you see him a year yeah, later. Yeah, you know, yeah. I'm basing a 12-step program. Yeah. I'm, I'm, one, I'm one Twinkie away from turning to Chris Farley. Yeah. Dude, I'm... Yeah, it, it's a struggle. I battle with it every day. I man. believe it. Yeah, it was, especially being entertainment. Oh, for you know, sure. You look big anyways on TV. Yeah, There's yeah. There's not a lot of big guys. Yeah. In entertainment. There's <laughs> a right. reason for that. There's a yeah. reason. So for I'm that. constantly, uh, you know, worried about my figure. I, it's funny though when we were on tour with Conan, like back in 2009, and Mike Tyson. We were in Vegas. Mike Tyson was one of the celebrity guests. I remember seeing him. I was like, whoa, man, like. He got huge, and it's now I bummer, think he, he's he's he's, he's back to he's a little back. bit. Yeah. He's back to a little bit. It is a bummer, though. Yeah, it, to me, it is yeah, a it's, bummer. It's, I get it because an a, as an athlete, you're so concentrated and you're so disciplined all the time. Yes. So when it's over, especially you have money in the bank, he's, he, oh, I mean, man. it's like break the bank. Right. Let's get loose. <laughs> Let's get loose. And I, I've had some of those weeks. And I'm like, you know what? Let's get back on the road here, my man. <laughs> right, you exactly. got a muffin top hanging off the side. <laughs> Your let's face get, is all bloated. Right, yeah, let's get back on the road. Yeah. Just a sweating for just no reason. Yeah, all just the time. You're that guy sweating just nonstop. Wet. Yeah, just got, got and your I'm back super out. into fashion, man. So I like skinny <laughs> jeans. I like tight clothes. Yeah, shoes yeah. And stuff. None of that stuff fits. <laughs> like yesterday, the everyone likes Easter, right, for the religious holiday. Yes, yes. See, I like today because Cadbury eggs are half off. There we go. <laughs> that's why I celebrate it, man. I'm a, a, addicted to Cadbury eggs. That's the yeah. That's the real Easter holiday. It's literally all I it's care post about. Post Easter, yeah. I will go straight here and just load up on eggs, man. Load up. <laughs> Speaking of fashion, you said you had 250 pairs of shoes. Yeah. yeah. Damn. No, I'm, I'm what you'd call a shoe whore. Now let's talk about it. What at this point now? Because I probably have, I mean, I love shoes and also watches too, so I'm on the same page as you. But like, I, I maybe have like 30 pairs of shoes. Yeah. What now attracts you to a shoe? Like, what are Because I feel like with watches and shoes, I'll go through phases. Like, I'm, yes. I'm wearing these giant blue shoes. Dude, right? I love those. Yeah. Puma suede's. Got these. I got, I got the Adidas uh, Superstars. Yeah, like bright yellow. Nice. Like, and now I'm kind of more into like a like a high top phase. Dude, I'm into a high top like. Uh, Italian leather, like Woo! Nike. Yes, Woo! That, like uh, for people listening, like yeah, those are expensive. But there's coming kind of great brands out of yeah. Brooklyn. They're not a sponsor. Okay. They're, they're similar to Common Projects. So Common Projects are my number one shoe. I, I'm obsessed with them. Wow. Italian leather, uh, basic shoe. They look great with jeans. You can wear them out. You can wear them anywhere. Common Projects. Common Projects. But they're really expensive. Right. So then Greats brand out of Brooklyn came about. They're very similar. What are they called? Greats? Greats. 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 All right. Great. They're very similar. And you're talking third of the price. Whoa. So now, I, I mean, I just... I don't know. I, I have a problem. I need to see. I don't, I don't see that's a problem at all. Looking good. How's that a problem? I agree. Crazy. I agree. No, and, and I will say shoes are shoes are kind of thing. It's kind of like furniture. Like you, you pay for what you get. I agree. And yeah, cheap buy it shoes, once. you know, like your feet. You gotta be good to your buy feet. Buy it nice man. or buy it twice is what my mom <laughs> always said. Buy it nice or buy it so twice. So I took that to the grave, and I'm just Unfor super into it. Unfortunately, I may buy it nice and buy it twice. Yes, guy. <laughs> that's my problem. I uh, if one pair is good, two exactly, pairs better. Man. I uh, I just love shoes, man. I love everything about them. For my yeah. for my birthday, the number one shoe I was trying to get. I'm not really into like Jordans and Nikes too much anymore. Um, I kind of. 
you know, I go in and out of that phase. Yeah, yeah. And for my birthday, my brother got me the uh, the Yeezys, the Adidas. Oh, what do you think about the Yeezys? They're cool. They're yeah. cool. I think that it's more of, you know, that they're so exclusive and they're hard to get. Yeah. So that's what makes them really cool. Right. Once I had them on, I was like, eh, they're cool. Yeah. They're all right. Yeah. They're all right. Yeah, yeah. I have way better shoes than this. <laughs> right, right. It, you know, I think it's just that kind of whole appeal that Kanye made. It's them, the like myth that. around. Yeah. You're buying, like, yeah, you're buying a... a, a, a I definitely have like? better shoes. Yeah. <laughs> I, definitely, I put them on, I was like, well, I'm just wearing Adidas now. I wore them on stage, I'm like, I kind of feel like an asshole. Wh oh, which Yeezy? Which Yeezy color? Which Yeezys? I got which the Yeezy? uh The Lunars. The Lunars, awesome. Yes. Yeah, I, got, I, I do want to get a pair of Yeezys, but that's the thing, too. I feel the same way. It's kind of like, uh... Oh jeez, this guy is just coming hard right yeah, now. This guy's coming super hard. What's my what's the melee? What's my melee button? What's melee? It's melee. What is it? What's my God, what's my melee button? Isn't it X? Is it X? Oh, I'm just getting <laughs> railed right now. Oh, dude, I'm just running about. I'm missing. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> You're just I'm a. I'm also oh, a good dude. Date. I just got. Tore hold on, up. hold on. I'm coming back. I'm coming over there. Hurt on these guys. Here we go. Get out of my way, bro. There we go. Get up. Mm. I love it. the moon rocks. Coffee break. Yeah, moon rocks. Coffee there break. you go. Beth's rocking a pair of Yeezys. <laughs> Beth, what's your shoe status? I like wear these shoes almost every single day. Beth is like straight out of like a Victorian novel. <laughs> no. Well, are those uh, are those uh, She's got boots. Doc Martens? These, these are just Doc Martens. Not bad at those. Classic. Classic. It's a, it's a classic. Shoe. Cla classic. I've had these for like Nos. ever, and they haven't deteriorated at all. With, with those bottoms, those are not going anywhere. Yeah. yeah. The thing too about here's what now people get on me about the fact I have so many watches, but. As dudes, oh, man. we can't accessorize like the ladies. I agree. You know, like, wh ladies got... Unless your name's Chris earring. Angel, right. all you can wear is a watch. <laughs> all you can wear is a watch. Unless you're a magician, Unless you're a all magician. you can wear is a watch. <laughs> if you're a magician, by the way, I've considered becoming a magician just so I could Me accessorize too, man. better. Wear all those rings. I feel like we could do pretty well as magicians. Me too. Put a little mascara on. Yeah, you know. Like, hair yeah, out. exactly. You know, like, do this a lot. Like, I feel like this is Boom. like... A, <laughs> one of the have you been to the Magic Castle yet in LA? I have not. You're Neither have I. Man. Yeah. Is it owned <laughs> by the Scientology? I, I oh, don't know how it works, Probably. Man. It's yeah, LA. I it's everything. to stay away from that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's supposed to be crazy because you walk... Well, first of all, you have to dress up. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like... like three-piece suit? It's formal. You have to wear see, a suit. See, now I want to go. Yeah, see, there we go. And to sweeten the pot also a little bit is people just walk around doing magic... Maybe this doesn't sweeten the pot. Walk around doing magic stuff. And uh, there's drinking, which is great. And Dude, it's like awesome. it's supposed to be good to eat, you know, good food and stuff. My friend, unfortunately, but they take, unfortunately, they take it very seriously. So my friend got a little drunk and couldn't remember, like, his card. Oh, uh, he fucked up. And fucked up. But then I guess was also kind of a, a dick about the whole thing. And he got, they kicked him out. He got, like, banned. Dude, what kind of security is at this magic place? I'll tell you what kind of security. You can't take pictures either. And this guy we work with, Roe, went and he tried to get a picture with someone just against a wall and he was like eight guards came out of like Not nowhere. Up in here. Yeah, we're just like no like Oh yeah, you never see pictures from inside. Okay, that's, why. Yeah, no. yeah, that's why. Man, I don't... wanna go now. Yeah. <laughs> I really want to go now. Yeah, exactly. I'm but... fully in. You just convinced me to go. Yeah. Or, How's it work? Do you have to play, make reservations? No, you can't. You have to be invited you have to by know a magician. Someone. I had an Uber driver you once have to... that gave me his card. That's like how you find it. It's like this mysterious. Was it way. a was it what? a magician Uber was, driver? Yeah, he was. Like, he was, like, <laughs> he was like, "Is this your address?" And I was like, oh, "Dude, that's <laughs> Matt Quest. That's not magic." <laughs> yeah, you just. Is this yeah, where you're going? I put my address yeah, I in. I freaking told you. <laughs> I told you what it was. <laughs> How Worst would you like to go to the magician ever. house? <laughs> the I magician guess, man. I get you Pretty in a creepy. castle. No, my house. Like, what? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's my house. It's my. It's literally it's my house. It's not the magician house, but it is my house. <laughs> Are you asking me out on a date, sir? Yes, I am. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh wait, where are you at? Hold on. But you got hurt. Dude, I keep getting murked. I think. I think I wasn't doing my job and catching up to you. Wait. Where are you? That's the wrong guy. Oh, there, we are. there we go. There we go. Get up. I, it's, I don't understand how I'm making you live again. I'm just literally helping you up. Uh, I'm, I'm not giving you, like, any pills or anything cool. I think you're, like, stabbing me with a drill exactly. or something. Callie. 
Callan is a Taekwondo champion of the Great Mr. Kim Legacy. What does that mean? <laughs> what is that? So Callan would always uh, say early on, especially on, you know, we have a show with Joe Rogan called the Fight Companion Podcast. Yeah. Where we watch the UFCs and we commentate over it. We don't really talk about fighting. We talk about octopus and magic and whatever the hell we want. <laughs> so uh, Callan was talking about how he's a Taekwondo champ and we were making fun of him. He, is he really? It's stuff for a debate. There's no pictures. <laughs> There's I didn't no. ask his mom, and she was like, mm. And then finally no it came picture. out. Brian's like, all right, all right, listen. He told me in private. I'm screwing him over right now. Oh, my God. He goes, all right, listen. He was at the YMCA. There was four people, and I won it, okay? And it was in Iowa. I was like, well, that doesn't make you a national champion, right. man. Right, yeah, what is this? So he just stuck with it. And then I was like, who's, who's the master? Whoever, who gave you the black belt? And he goes, I think his name was Master Kim. So we have <laughs> merchandise. So I created Brian Callen, Master Kim, National Taekwondo. Oh, shirts. my God. That's and amazing. The date is, it says 1983. But if you notice, we have one coming out this week. The date changes every shirt because it, it's a lie. So every day uh, I change, the, change it on the shirt. Sweep the leg. Yes, it's. Yes. That it's is hilarious. hilarious. Joe Rogan's a real national champion. Right. And he was yes. on the actual national tour. Oh, my God. Very suspect. Be a very, very suspect. Very suspect, Brian Callen. He, he's really athletic, though. Well, there we go. Yeah. For being 75 years old. For being 75, yeah, he, he gets, will wheel kick your face. Gets around, gets around pretty good. Oh, uh, what? Uh, Natami Table's Master Kim shirt on right now. Boom. Yeah, yeah son. Represent, the new one represent. drops uh, Wednesday. Black and gold new one. We've all seen Callan's spin kick. Pretty legit. It is legit. I agree. That's why it's hard to debate. Oh, it's really? Like, he's, yeah. he's actually, no, no, it's good. legit. It's on it YouTube. Is, You're like, really? damn, that's kind of legit. Whoa. But then there's no, there's just no proof, man. <laughs> no and proof. he's a compulsive liar, so <laughs> very tough, man. What are other things he lies about? Name it. <laughs> Name it, man. Oh, no. Name it. Oh, no. It's brilliant to be his friend, though. Keep oh, you on, uh, keep you on your toes. Oh, wait. Oh, dang. I feel like... I fell right into oh, it. Oh, wow. They're shooting you in the face? Where are you at? Dang. Where are you at over here? Tell you what, you I'm guys get dumb. an A-plus for uh, coffee here. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's the one thing we live off of here. I'm also obsessed with coffee. Oh, really? Yeah, I used to drink in between rounds when I fought. Holy Moses! Yeah, man, during sparring. When did you first start drinking coffee? Uh, probably like six or seven. Nice. nice. Yeah, man. I'm I'm a late comer to coffee. Really? I would, I never got into it until like literally two years ago, and now I'm just the cold brew thing has changed my life. I'm <laughs> see, I'm not a cold brew guy. Do you see? I I, I, I feel like cold brews for ISIS. I <laughs> I only drink iced coffee. Is that weird? You know what? That's very un-American. Yeah. <laughs> The I think coffee. Jerry Seinfeld would agree with me. He's he's the same where he doesn't agree with iced coffee. Coffee should be cold, uh, should be hot, man. That's but, the way it's designed. But I don't drink any other hot beverages. You don't drink tea? Uh, I get. But no, I drink iced tea. Iced but tea's I, fine, but see, uh, I came to it through iced tea. Maybe that was my gateway drug to I, it was iced coffee. It's a vicious. I needed something a little a little uh, a little stronger than the iced tea, so I went iced coffee. Dude, there's there's some cold brews that will. I mean. It's like meth. There's some cold <laughs> brews that will. Oh, I know. Yeah, you know how it goes. Yeah, I drink one I think large. Stump Town. Yeah. I Stump Town at Whole Foods. Ooh, Stump Town's great. It's almost like a Guinness. Oh, it's like a thick coffee. Yeah. yeah. It will, dude. Does not does not f around. Mm -mm. Yeah, only hot coffee. But as a kid, my mom was born and raised in England, so I grew up on. Uh, oh wow. In tea on tea. That, every like night. legit tea too. Legit like tea. Fortnite. Tea with milk. <laughs> Whoa. Every night. I still do it every night. Peppermint tea, and then I just slowly transitioned to coffee. That's great. Oh, now you're if you're talking tea, no, now you're I'm speaking like, best language. Oh yeah. You're wandering I'm, into I'm the like Victorian Earl novel. Grey. Yeah. Earl Grey, huh? <laughs> I'm not a big Earl Grey. A little boring for me. <laughs> I, I like a little, I like a peppermint tea. Peppermint, Woo! peppermint tea. I, I'll mess with the sleepy time tea too. Oh, it's, a, it's a vanilla. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sleepy time. yeah, man. Forget Nyquil. <laughs> sleepy time. <laughs> if you're just joining us, we're hanging out with Brendan Schaub from the Fighter and the Kid podcast. Um, and there's going to be a live show, so go to uh, tfatk.com to grab your ticks to see this man live. Hopefully, do you are you do you do stand up every time? Every time before a live show. Yeah, every wow, time. awesome. Yeah, it's more it's more of a show than like people because. A lot of other podcasts try live podcasts. It's just not the platform, man. It's it's right. boring to do a podcast where it's just you and another guy talking. It's, it doesn't come off that's true as you would do it. So, yeah. so uh, dynamic. Brian, you know, Brian's a performer, and I, I like to perform myself. He goes, no, no, no. It's gonna be a perform. It's a show. It's an actual it, show. It's not a podcast. It's a show. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. And you and you and you said that you guys are doing actual uh, a series also. Yeah, we have a series. It just came out for pre order right now. It's T Fat K. 
3D.com. Yeah. And what if you get it right now uh, for the pre-sale, you get Brian Callen's comedy special, Never Grow Up. Whoa. And you get a free uh, Fire and Kid Limited Edition 3D t-shirt. Oh, my God. That's and then, awesome. Then all 12 episodes drop May 1st. Dude, you know that's I mean? awesome. I love that. Yeah. It's... uh. You know, I've, I've, I've had some pretty cool moments in my life, athletically, yeah. through football and fighting. Nothing compares to knocking out these series. This, I these believe it. Because, you know, Mitch Rouse, uh, who, he's actually good by Conan, and uh, yeah. he's done a lot of writing. And Brian Callen, myself, we wrote these things, and to see it come to life... I've never been prouder of anything in my life. It's like it's like a child. It's like because you've 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 created it and then you send it out into the world for other people Dude, to enjoy. We would, we would meet every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at the Pally House right here in Hollywood, and uh, we'd go through ideas, and all of us would have to have ten ideas. Wow, and, crazy! You know, to me, uh, you know, obviously being an athlete, there's a lot of ego involved. Right. So when I come with my ten ideas and they go, those are terrible. <laughs> None of those will work. It really hurts your feelings. So well, yeah. I have to get used to that rejection, man. But that's that's how you do it. It makes you vulnerable on a whole other level, you know. It's, the creative process is so interesting, man. I love it. Oh, down, dude. I this need guy, to, this, this guy's killing dude, us this here. Guy this guy's a gangster. I'm all out of ammo too, so. What are what are some of your like comedic influences like and and like in terms of like either shows you watch or people you look up to? Yeah, uh, you know, but besides the guys who kind of showed me the way with Rogan. Yeah, yeah. Townsend, besides the guys you personally know, yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm a bit. You know, Dave Chappelle. I grew up oh, on Dave Chappelle's Chappelle. Amazing, uh, amazing. Uh, Tosh is really good these days. Um, okay. I'm a, I'm a big Seinfeld fan, man. Yeah, dude, the cla like the classics. The classics. Still hold up. Also, I, I my heroes growing up. A lot of people think it was uh, athletes. It was Adam Sandler and Jim Carrey. Oh, I believe it. Sure. Anything they do, I was I was game for, man. Yeah. When Ace Ventura came out, I probably missed Tuesday through Friday <laughs> of school. I just get school, see Ace Ventura over and over. When I came to school on Monday, I was like, oh, <laughs> right, yeah. kids were like, you look ridiculous in that Hawaiian shirt. It's like, damn it, not the same. <laughs> I love it. Uh, oh, so somebody asked, what is what is what's actually um, better for uh, more satisfying, like after a good fight or after a good show? Good show because, and uh, I've said this before, because a fight, you know, unless you're one of the, you know, Conor McGregor or John Jones, people yeah. are paying to see John Jones, Conor McGregor. I was never that big of a superstar. Mm -hmm. You know, I was a good fighter, ranked in the top ten for many years. Yeah. But the thing is, is they're coming to see everyone at these right. shows. The, the love we get in these sold out crowds, they're coming to see Brian and Brendan. Yeah, that's so, true. Dude, they, our, after our, we had a show in LA, we sold out the comedy store, which is in the that's main room, awesome. which is crazy. Dude, that's And great. that's like the pinnacle, right? Yeah, so, and that's historically yes. amazing too. So after that, dude, I, I went back to the green room and I was in tears. It was just, for me, it's, it's insane, man, because most fighters, when they get done fighting, you know, there's not a lot to do. You can open a gym. We right. teach kids boxing. Like, there's not a lot of wit, you know. The future there is tough unless you're at the top. It's very, very tough. Even if you're at the top, when you get done, it's hard to fill that void. Absolutely. For any athlete, it's just not fighting. For sure. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very grateful that for the UFC. They were great to me. Yeah. And uh, it was just time for me to step away and add another option that, you know, to me, I think was, was kind of my destiny. Absolutely, yeah. And it's got to be nice, too, I mean, to get out, and especially someone like you has such a great comedic voice to get out and exercise that voice. Exercise that voice. I can be myself. I can yeah. be silly. Right. Um, I just I just love it, man. And, you know, I design the shirts. I'm super into fashion. So it, yeah, it, that's you awesome. You can check that off. That's so awesome. It's just the perfect uh, transition for me. And luckily, brain trauma hasn't set in yet. I don't know if I'm going to get it or not. <laughs> But when that bad or this boy is all in, this is all a dream. I'm just this here is, drooling. Is, you're like, actually uh, in a coma. Yeah, this is yeah, all right. We're all just part of your dream, right? Like That's hilarious. Dude, would you ever want to design your own like watch line? Yes. And what and what would it, it look shoes. like? What would it look like? I don't know. There's so many watches out there, man. That game I know you, is, you'd that have game to you'd tough. have to you'd have to change you'd have to do something unique, I think. Dude, I would love to design some uh shoes. I think Ooh, I think our nice. fan base would eat it up, man. Absolutely. Especially, especially with the right uh price point. Totally. I just think, and not athletic, like a nice Italian leather shoe. There's a lot of companies doing it. Absolutely. I've thought about it. It's a, it's a difficult road to go down, I think. Yeah, yeah. I, I would collab with someone like Grades or Common Project or something. I think that's got to be the way to do it, right? Too, because you, otherwise, like, the production all that stuff gets great. Like, you have to almost, like, well, kind of like how how, uh, how Kanye did it. You know, he didn't try to make his own shoe company. He no, just yes, he linked up with yeah. Nike first and then and they know how to do. They know how to do it best. Yeah, Kanye's doing it right with that stuff, man. He says a lot of crazy stuff, but 
as far as fashion goes. I know, yeah. He's pretty legit, man. I'd say, say he's making beats. He's still making good beats, you know? Yeah, no, his new CD is pretty legit. Yeah. If you're into that stuff. Um, I know, that's the thing. I, although, then again, when you have, like, a studio in Hawaii that you live in, I think it's pretty easy to be... For sure make more music. Yeah, better. for sure, yeah. Oh, man. Dude, when I was doing my research on you, you know, I'm, I still work out all the time. Yeah. And I was... The, the, the number thing number one thing with you and I'm sure all your fans know but uh, for the Fire and Kid fans dude you lost a ton of weight yeah. after, after a girl broke your heart 88 pounds yeah dude I've been there man it's crazy not to that extreme but when when a girl breaks up with you it's the especially worst. these days on Instagram and Twitter and you can see who they're dating oh, now it's you the, better step your game it's up it's the worst yeah it, 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 it's literally it's the best motivation in the world I it think. really is I mean yeah you wanna you wanna get yourself to the gym just get into a bad relationship, and then it'll just be like, boom, the pounds will melt away. Uh, but yeah, that was an interesting experience, because I had never been, you know, I, I had never been into sports or anything. Nothing growing and up? Then, nothing, nothing. None of that stuff. I mean, I played for fun with my friends, like pick up basketball and stuff, but always been a really heavy guy. And uh, and so it's kind of fun. It was kind of fun to me. It's like kind of the opposite of you. Like, it was fun for me to... Um, Use my body and like ah, you know, like get bad, man. you know, and like get out there and be like, something oh wow, different. like yeah, yeah, something different. It gets this strong. And, out there, yeah, man. Yeah, like big guys like us have a nice frame, so it, it's cool to put muscle on and to you know when you're kind of a big guy, it's fun to get in the gym and sure. you know and, and work out because uh, you, you know the diet's the hard part. Diet to me, is the getting hard in part. the gym's easy, right? I yeah. love doing that. The diet's the hard part. Yeah, that is the worst. I can't be around sweets. Yeah. I'm like a gremlin, man. I'm like Gizmo. I just can't be around. I turned into a demon. <laughs> For me, I've never... The sweets thing was not hard, but salty, man. Potato chips. God, we're so... Ooh, I hate pretzels. salt. Oh, hate salt. Really? Oh, wow. I hate salt. Oh, man. Sweets? Like, I feel like when my mom was breastfeeding me, it was just yeah. maple syrup in her titties. <laughs> dude, syrup. I have the worst. She sweet should see tooth. a doctor. She should I, see dude, a doctor. Pure maple syrup. <laughs> pure see a doctor or get with a scientist. <laughs> or get with a scientist. Just pure maple syrup, man. I'm obsessed with sugar. Constant exactly. struggle. <laughs> it is true. I will say, like, it is the diet is, is the worst part for sure. By far. But, but that's the thing, too, is like, I will say now with the internet, there's so many great resources out there. Where you can like be like, oh, like what should I be eating or what's good, yes. you know? There's the, the, it's hard to have an excuse on what what you should eat. What, you know, there's too yeah. much knowledge out there. Yeah, especially just, with podcasts. Totally, stuff, totally. Yeah, there's diet just, podcasts out there now. Workout podcasts. Exactly. Yeah. Wait. So what are you? You just said you came from another workout. What are What are you doing now? What are you? Now I just I do full body and uh, jujitsu and mitts usually every day. Oh wow! Awesome. Yeah, because I, I, I used to do. You know, like wrestling, taekwondo, all, all yeah. sorts of stuff, man. But now I really just do stuff to look good and feel good. Sure. Like yesterday, uh, I knew that I was going to have some sweets. I usually fast on Sundays. I oh, fast wow. all day on Sundays. Every Sunday? Every Sunday. Wow. That's and, amazing. Uh, but it was Easter, so we were at a friend's house, and, uh, you know, they had good food. So I woke up that morning and, and ran uh, six miles. Jesus. So I could get away with eating, like, Shit. Good lord, that's awesome! My God, yeah. The um, I gotta say, like, it's interesting. Like now that I've lost all the weight, trying to maintain is a whole different thing. You know, it's different like different animal. Different man. animal. It's a harder animal for sure. And uh, do you, do you have a girlfriend now? No, no. Single. Oh no. Yeah. Oh. Field. You became a ladies' man. Here's, yeah, right. Just yeah. killing the game. <laughs> I'm like killing Leonardo this game. DiCaprio yeah. now. <laughs> here's a great. Here's actually a funny story that happened on Friday night. Are you ready for a great story? Yeah, Here we go. Love a great story. So, uh, you know, because um, I'm a winner, I was at the bookstore on Friday night. Oh, okay. Barnes and Noble. But oh, this uh, Skylight Books on on like Vermont over okay. there and uh i just come from the comic book store so i had a bunch of comic books Kill and uh game. ooh left left path or right path let's go left left all right um so let's just go over your friday night real friday quick. night so comic book store comic book store, store book store chicks yep. everywhere yeah chicks yeah just beating them off Ladies. and there's a cute girl behind the counter right working that comic book store at, at the at the regular book store. okay yeah um and you know, girls will now flirt with me. I mean, girls obviously flirt with you all the time. But girls, well, it's a weird new thing for me. So, um, and she's behind the counter. And so I was like, oh, hey, like, can I donate, like, you know, like a dollar to this children's thing? And I wasn't doing this. Yeah, girl. right. I wasn't doing this with a girl. Hey, you like kids? No, was, yeah, yeah. You know where I can donate? And so she goes, she's like, oh, my God. She goes, oh, my God, that's so sweet. And reaches across the thing, kind of like, oh, that's so sweet. And I was like. Grossive, it's on. Yeah. So what I say is, well. 
We've all got a child inside of us. <laughs> and she goes, no. she's like, what? Oh, no. Yeah, she's like, what? And I was like, oh. You're still learning. And then so I go, well, then I, I kind of panicked. And so then I was kind of like, uh, oh, I mean, I eat children. <laughs> and she says, what? She's all, uh, have a good day. <laughs> and she's like, what? And I'm starting to actually sweat now when I'm telling the story. I'm sweating for Yeah, it was right terrible. Now. And, uh. And so, and I was like, <laughs> and then she's like, huh? And then I go, we, because I'm a cannibal. And then she oh goes, my God, this is <laughs> then she, well, then she tries to help me. She goes, wow, you're going pretty far. She's like, you're really sticking to this riff, huh? And I was like, yup. Yeah. And at this point, like, I'm trying to swipe my card just desperately to get just out to of get there. Just to get out of there. And it keeps, I keep doing it too fast. It's like, it's like, beep, beep. But she has to keep resetting it. It's terrible. And then so she's like, oh. And I was like, yeah, well, they all taste like chicken, everybody. And then I was like, sometimes I'll, uh, she's like, yeah, well, do you use seasoning? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I, I use seasoning sometimes and, uh, and, and uh, whatever. And I'm just like screaming at this point. I don't even know what I'm saying. And then so she's like quiet. I swipe my thing. She gives me a thing. She's like, okay, well, have a good night. I'm like, thanks. And then I'm leaving. As I'm leaving, she like gives me one more chance to be, to like be normal. And she's like, well, hope to see you in here again soon. And I go, call the authorities. And I just, oh my God. <laughs> That is tough, the man. Authority. The only way that could have went any worse, she's like, hey, how you doing? Good, and brought out a dick pic on the There <laughs> you go, girl. You like books? How about this dick? <laughs> literally the worst. So I'm still getting used to at being... <laughs> to say something, yeah. To say the least. To say the least. <laughs> oh, it's Good the worst. Lord. It's the worst. What's your late... Now, what's your situation? Uh, I have a girlfriend. Awesome. I have a girlfriend, and, uh, you know, in L.A., and I'm on the road all the time. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's tough, man. But although I will say with Skype and stuff, it feels easier than it would be, like, you know, eight or ten years ago. Well, what's tough is, you know, there's more access to people these days. Yeah. So Instagram, Twitter, uh, all that stuff. Anyone can access anyone they want. That's true. Anyone. So yeah, absolutely. So the, the struggle is real. The struggle is real, yeah, man. The struggle is real. It's tough. And I will say too, like, it's interesting, like out here in LA, it's 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 interesting because in New York, I used to live in New York, and meeting people is so easy because everyone's drunk all the time and you Subway, walk everywhere. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's fine. So so easy peasy, right? But here, when people drive to bars, then it's like, okay, you get let's say you get a girl to go home with you. Now we've both driven to the bar. Who's following who? Are we take is someone leaving their car here? Like what's happening? Like and then if you do, if you do, if she's like yeah I'll follow you, then it's like oh and if she doesn't make it through a yellow light, it's like oh like did she mean to just? It's terrible. The well, whole thing. Is the terrible. issue is is uh, I think the problem there is you're trying to meet girls at bars. Well, right, I true. think guys need to do you know step outside their lane like yoga, Ooh. yoga or there, salsa. There we go. go book club. Yeah. Uh, there's like. Uh, uh, Saturday morning workout regimen on the beach. Talk about eating children at a bookstore, things that could, like that. That, might, that yeah. might work too. Yeah. Although you know what? If she had actually maybe admit that could have been. Uh, that could have been funny. Could have been funny. She could have right? played the game. Right. She could have. You know what? She could have helped me out. A she little really could have. She could see I was drowning. You know what? When I started swiping the thing 15 times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She could have helped. She could have been like, yo. I got you. She wasn't doing any favors. Man. No, definitely not. But you know what? I will say that Children's Hospital got a, a really big donation. A big dollar, <laughs> no, they kept swiping. My thing. They probably got like six hundred dollars at least. What? Are we going this way? Oh, here we go. Are we? At, where are you at? I think you're about. Yeah, you're about to join me over here. Uh, also, I figured out the chainsaw thing. If you hold down B. Oh really? I think oh, yeah. Sweet. yeah. I yeah. think you can cut dudes in half, which is uh, half the fun. Of so, the are you by the guy who's shooting the? Fun fact, if a girl looks at you, it means she's DTF. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about Man, that. Man, that's aggressive, That's amigo. a pretty aggressive, Haas. Huh? Assault, there. brother. Pretty Internet aggressive. People. No, no one mentions ballet. You know, I would take ballet. I've taken ballet. Yeah, I feel like because it makes you more graceful, you know, like. Yeah, I don't know if that's the right setting. I, I think you're better off with a little yoga or uh, salsa dancing because it's fun. Salsa? Now, are you a salsa dancer? Do you I've do been that? salsa dancing. That's yeah, awesome. Santa Monica every Wednesday. I feel like salsa is kind of like, it's because it's already, it's kind of, you know, you're moving your it's body, sexual. you're working up a sweat. It's, 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 it's sexual. It's sexual, you know? Exactly. I got. I don't know about these hips, though, man. Like, That's this why is, you need to go, bro. Like, look, I think I need, like, this is not, is this how you salsa dance? I'm is not mad at it. Okay. I'm <laughs> not mad. I'm not mad at that at all. <laughs> I see potential is what I'm telling you. <laughs> Oh, wow. Are you going to be on Dancing with the Stars? Very Probably generous. not. Probably not. <laughs> would you do Dancing with the Stars? Yeah, for sure. That would be awesome. Yeah, that would be fun. 
Although, I don't know, it seems like, that seems pretty seems stressful. Seems like a real workout, Yeah, though. I seems know. Seems like a real beast. There's yeah, a lot of pressure from it, and that dance is not easy. It's true. Salsa dance is hard enough. I know. I, I, I feel like having to do all those different styles and stuff and then perform in front of people seems Man. horrible. Yeah, not only are you not a dancer, but then you got to perform. <laughs> I know, exactly. Is there anything, I mean, you have, you've been in the ring, yeah. you've fought people, you've done stand-up in front of hundreds of people. Is there anything that scares you? Is there like is there anything now that scares oh, you? Oh, like, for sure. Like what? Like skydiving? Like what is it? You know, you know, I'm. Uh, yeah. What's I would, left? I, I would never skydive. I would never skydive. It's tough to get me out of L.A. Besides doing these live tours. Uh, You're scared of every place except for L.A. <laughs> basically, <laughs> I feel like ISIS is everywhere. Right. So, ISIS is everywhere. tourism plus one yeah. for them. Yeah. There we winning. go. Yeah. Danger Town. Yeah, man. Unless you got good food in your town, you don't want to travel there. If you have good food, I'm there. You have good donuts. If you if you open oh, up a donuts. Voodoo Donuts in Syria, oh, I'm there. Donuts. Where we started with donuts, dude. Donut technology from when we were kids has gone bananas. Oh, all we had was Dunkin' Donuts, man. Now it's like what's that sandwich at Dunkin' Donuts? It tastes like cardboard. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's Blue Star off Abbey Kenny. Voodoo Donuts that will change your life. Is that the one? There's there's these donuts. I've seen donuts with like like Lucky Charms on That's top of it. That's Voodoo Donuts. That is insane. You know what? I, I, uh, Blue Star off Abbey Kenny, they have some nerve, man. I'm not making this up. I got a dozen donuts. How much would you Ooh. pay for a dozen donuts? Eight bucks. Yeah, try 56. Oh, what? How dare you? American dollars? Yeah. That's yeah, American crazy. Dollars. <laughs> We're not talking that's pesos. Not, that's so. not pesos? We're not talking pesos. What? Some nerve, man. Oh, my I'm God. I'm looking it up now. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, look at it. That, the struggle is oh real. Oh, my God. Someone said Shamrock straight, Shake. Shab, your favorite. No, no, no. Shamrock Shake is uh, pure uh, poison. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's a Shamrock Shake from McDonald's. I, I never go to McDonald's. Yeah. But uh, I tried a Shamrock Shake because I think Keely and from the Fire and the Kid and Evan the Beard, they wouldn't shut up about it. Okay. So it was like, I think it was last year, St. Patty's You never had a Shamrock Shake? Never. How is that possible? Well, just you, you just... Sk- Skated through life. If I want something sweet, I'm sure as hell not going to McDonald's. Well, that's true. That's a great shake. point. Great point. Yeah, so great point. I finally got one, and it was just, I could feel my insides just dying. <laughs> it was terrible, man. What? I will never be back. <laughs> oh, my God. Ever. Are you a shake guy, though? Are you a shake guy? I like a nice shake. Okay. If it's, yeah. if it's good quality ingredients. Yeah. I. You know what? Any Anytime they give you the, the metal cup with yeah, the spoon. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. House of Pies. You been to House of Pies? Never been there. Oh, in Los Feliz. Great shit. I'm a cupcake guy too. Oh, cup. Oh my God. Don't even get me started with Don't cupcake. Don't get me started, man. I uh, for my my birthday was, I think it was on the 18th, March 18th. Yeah. And uh, you know I've been good, not eating sugar. And yeah, then my yeah. Agent Adam Hirsch sent me. Uh, a dozen of these Susie's <laughs> cupcakes. Oh They're God. here in LA. Are they the ones that are just like each one's? They're like not that big, but the frosting's like like your mom used to make them. Ooh, buttercream, dude. I, I was like, you know what? It's my birthday. Ooh. I'm just gonna have one. So I had one, and then uh, at night I couldn't sleep because I was starving for my diet. <laughs> so I'm like, how can I do this? <laughs> so you know, I decided it was the best way to go. I ate the top off all of them <laughs> and then threw them away. <laughs> That's like a true a true cupcake That's addict. Fat kid shit. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do I was the like, top. How can I do this best? <laughs> like, eat the frosting, <laughs> throw the rest away. They were so good. Man. Oh my god! I my mouth is watering. Think about it. <laughs> That's crazy. That's the struggle, man. <laughs> did you do you did you after a fight? Did you used to? Uh, did you used to like treat yourself to cupcakes or anything? Like what? Was Not you? really. You know, I get done with fight. I'm like, oh, I can't wait for this. I, I really never drink either. Yeah. And I'm like, man, after this fight or after this big show or after we finish this Find the Kid 3D series, we're yeah. have so much fun. Yeah. It's like, I get done, I'm like, I just don't want to do anything. Yeah, I don't want to yeah. drink. I, don't want right. I just want to relax and, I don't know, I guess have wine. I guess I'm getting older. Oh, there we go. Or more or classy. Or more classy. You're right. You know? Maybe we get, yeah. No, nothing, nothing wrong with classing uh, up Nothing wrong with classing, nothing up, wrong with classing up a bit, yeah. Wine, get, wine is something I wish I knew more about. That's why. That's why having a best friend who's fifty and he's a wine connoisseur. Oh, see, Ryan Callen, man, he makes me look good. That's we'll awesome. Order wine. I'm just like, make sure you order two. <laughs> <laughs> because it's like, I think like, like, can you cook? I can cook. Yeah. See, that's the thing is like wine and cooking. Like, there's a point at which I've said this before, but like as guys, like 
it's when you're younger, it's kind of cute. Like, oh, he can't cook. Oh, he doesn't know. But as you get older, it's not cute. Like, you no. got it. Like, you got to know. You can't change stuff. a light bulb, a tire. Yeah, you yeah. You really yeah. don't know how to grill. Yeah, like, yeah. A man's man, I feel like it's becoming more and more. There's a little more demand there. Like, you got to know more I agree. stuff. Maybe I agree. more like a Swiss Army knife, less like a machete. Yeah, no, I could. Don't that, be a meathead. No, that's. Don't be a meathead. Well played. Yeah, yeah. Look more like a Swiss Army knife, less like a machete. I yeah, like that. Man. Because, yeah, it's just like. And wine is one of those things. I feel like it's cool. It's. It's cool to know about wine. It's very cool. Yeah, like that's the thing. I'm trying to learn more about tequila. Dude, books too. Book? Oh my god! I, I was a guy. You know, in college, I majored in football. I was a double major, but when you play Division One football, you're basically majoring in football. Right. So, um, you know, I, I didn't read a ton. I would read certain books on professional athletes and working out stuff yeah. I was into. And now it's like, especially with the group I hang out with, man, being big, fast, and strong, it's really not that. Cool. Being, right. being a meathead, those days are over, man. Those days so are over. For me, it's about, uh, you know, I know it sounds cliche, but knowledge is power, man. No, it does, that's not cliche Especially at all. with girls. Absolutely. Being a meathead's not going to get you very far anymore, man. Agreed. Yeah, I mean, those days are over, man. The 90s are done. The 90s are done. We learn different things about tequila every day. That's right. Like how it can make you hurt <laughs> if you drink too much of it. That's a good point. That's right. Oh, my God. Man, the get... ammo is... No, I'm I'm getting destroyed. I, I I'm gonna can't kill this guy. I'm gonna come get you. All right, here we go. I like that. I like it. Uh, he left. I need. Oh, Did he just left. Take off like that. What? Oh, I think I'm down. I think I'm down on the Wait, right. Is that guy on my team or no? I think yeah. I think he's. Either think... way, I'm about to do work. <laughs> here we go. Hey man, cooking is the best elementary skill to know. Agreed. Agreed. Shab at UFC 200. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. If yes, you, it is Brendan Schaub. If you don't make me wear uh, Reebok and you let me fight a superstar, I'm in. Somebody said dragons are real? Oh, yeah, because uh, I make fun of movement coaches and dragons. Okay. Uh, someone's trying to get me to watch Games of Thrones. Okay. And I said, <laughs> oh, is there a dragon in there? Yeah, I went, yeah. oh, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm 30 I'm years old. I'm all set on dragons. <laughs> I'm good. So then, you know, <laughs> dude, I had grown men write me emails like, how dare you? <laughs> dragons are real. I was like, they're not. They're, they're not, man. They're I not, bro. hate to tell you, bro. I don't want to <laughs> fuck up your day, but dragons are not real. No, they're just not. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite things about Game of Thrones is so the author, um, that guy um, uh, George R. R. Martin. You know, he's like this tiny little dude. He's exactly a guy. If you look at him, you should picture him, right? He's kind of he, yeah, small. Yeah, he, he looks like he's written those novels. My favorite thing is he's from New Jersey. I didn't know Isn't that. that the greatest thing? Like you expect him to be yeah. from like Finland New Zealand or like yeah, somewhere. Zealand. Cool. Like yeah. a He's vibe. from Jersey, bro. Like a that's Hobbit awesome. vibe. Yeah, Hobbit like vibe. a Schmeagol vibe. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Sex in his basement, <laughs> right? Yeah. Dragon. Yeah. Sex. <laughs> yeah. Your boy George R. R. Martin is from Jersey. I love it. Just Killing him it, like man. walking around New Jersey thinking of like dragons and all this crazy <laughs> shit. He's brilliant. Though. He's brilliant. Yeah. I heard this awesome thing where if you if you um. What is it if you recognize him on the street? If you run into him on the street, he he carries around these little coins, gold coins. I'll give you a coin. That said, like I met George R. R. Martin. <laughs> like isn't that awesome? That's, just, it's, just, kind of, it's it's a very yeah. That's a very ego thing. Yeah, like, it's yeah, a pretty very cool. ego thing. Yeah. He's like Scrooge McDuck. He just gives out gold yeah, coins. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. How's that work, man? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, if that, you're I a mean, hot he, girl, do you get more <laughs> coins? <laughs> you just get a How's it work? I mean, I gotta say, I will say, like. Uh, he's clearly made a lot of money off those oh guys, off the Game of Thrones. I bet he's killing the Just game. Just killing it. I bet. You want to talk about a guy who doesn't struggle with the ladies. Oh, I know. Seriously. I bet you walk in his room and there's just dragons painted all over the ceiling. <laughs> exactly. Freaking gold coins. I'm a fan. Exactly. I love it. I love it. It's that New Jersey industrial waste. That's true. <laughs> it's actually there are probably dragons in Jersey. Sorry, Jersey. There's a good chance someone dropped some iguanas in that <laughs> in that river there. Exactly. Exactly. Um, all right. I think actually I think that's gonna do it. It's one o'clock, everybody. Uh, thank that you to Brendan Shaw. Thank you, guys. Man. You're having yeah, fun. You're the best, man. That's right. Uh, and please, again, go buy tickets at a TFA. Uh, TK or TFATK yeah, at dot com. com. That's right. And uh, check uh, The Fighter and the Kid on iTunes, SoundCloud, everywhere great podcasts can be seen. Uh, Brent Shaw, everybody. Thank you Thank so you much guys. You guys for joining best, us. Man. London Thank Melee. You. Thank you. We'll see you guys next week. See you later. Bye.